Yeah, that's a very fair question. And I think that question has two parts of it. So one is this notion of how low-skilled labor is evolving, and it has been evolving in the past years, and how do we expect it to evolve in the next year? So we're actually doing some research now looking into that, and what we've seen is high-skilled and low-skilled labor are actually growing. What's being squeezed out, as Michael says, is the middle-skilled um, labor market, and that's a trend that is probably going to happen and continue throughout the next uh, 15 years as well. Um, so you do see some occupations that don't require higher levels of education growing. So one big example is creative work. Uh, so there's more creative work like design, um, interior decoration that are actually growing, um, and also on healthcare. So in healthcare, you have a very big job um, category, and you have different occupations that require different types of skills. And um, care workers, because you have increased aging in Europe, will be more and more needed. Um, so I think there's opportunities for these people. Um, but to the second point, um, it's challenging for some. And there are differences in terms of um, age, in terms of abilities. And I think the key thing here is about self-motivation and lifelong learning and continuing to showcase that these opportunities happen. So even the other day, we, we at Google and within Grow with Google, we have offline training hubs where people come in and they get access to skills. Um, and the other day, we had an, an old doctor who came with 93 um, years old. And he came in and he learned about our ads and he learned about how to build a website, which shows some you know, willingness for people to, to reskill, even at a later stage. So I, I think to his, to his question, I would say that there is some concern that there's a lot of opportunities, but it all depends on people's self-motivation and, and ambition. And there's obviously a role for governments to play to support these people, but, but I think it comes a lot from the user as well.